Haunted was one of my favorite shows growing up. Like I did that in-person lottery for years <laughs> before I got it, like a special place. Very excited heart. about this question. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the Disabled Gamer asks, were there any favorite bits or mishaps from the Bach and Nessa storyline in Wicked? The Disabled Gamer, by the way, is named Alan. What's up, Alan? I'm sure I'll see just this clip on Twitter the minute this is over. What's up? <laughs> Your family is good. Um, but uh, yes, there was one big one, one big mishap that I was involved in, is that I'm only on stage for 12 minutes in that show. Very small role for being a principal role, timing-wise. So in the end, my last scene in Act One is the train station scene, where he brings them to go off to the Emerald City, and he wheels on Nessa, and then... Uh, uh, Glinda calls him Bic for the for the what what did he did what is the very last time because he turns to her and says it's Bach and I can't do this anymore and he runs away he runs the length of the stage off and Nessa uh, you know gives chase says Bach come back and sorry you know and they're fine they go to the Emerald City so that's my last scene in Act One and then I'm done for 45 minutes until Act Two until I enter in Act Two so it's a 45 minute break easy in Act One. Uh, over a year into my run there, during an act one, I left the stage thinking it was my last scene in the, sh in the, in the act, and it wasn't. So I went upstairs, took off my clothes, had just my like, you know, slider, like, like black sort of like compression shorts and white t-shirt and my mic belt, you know, in my hair and my mic and my hat, my little yarmulke, <laughs> my little Bach yarmulke. Um, and I'm chilling, I'm hanging out and I hear on the monitor, what sounds like what I usually hear right before I come on for my last scene in act one. And I have a full blown panic attack, heart drops to my butt and I have no shoes on. I've, I just have literally black underwear, a white t-shirt and a mic belt on. So I, I run, there's a, all, all this hanging clothing that has your stuff on it. I run into it and I just grab it and I start running downstairs with like, not even half of them were my costume. It was like Dr. Dillman's costume. And I'm, as I'm running, I'm like peeking things and I'm putting like half a sleeve on and like, and I'm putting on stuff that's definitely not the right costume. Um, and I end up making it on stage in time. And I was wearing black patent leather shoes, no pants, uh, a sil the silver uh, governor's mansion jacket from Act Two and my red yarmulke that I already had on. And it was open. So just like Mike belt and white shirt and then open jacket, no pants, black shoes. And I'm standing there and I'm vibrating. I'm shaking so hard. Thinking to myself, this will be my last performance ever on Broadway ever or in any theater. And I'm sitting there and nobody notices for the first couple seconds because you're doing the scene until I can't remember who this is. I, I have to figure out when this was because it, I, it, I want to like cast it the right way. The, whoever was playing Alphaba turns and sees me and then turns back like this because she sees what's going on. And then slowly, the only person that didn't really see it was I believe who was playing Nessa Rose because I'm in, I'm in back of her. Oh, okay. And the Glinda starts and they start trying to get through their lines and they're starting to laugh. And then she calls me Bic and I have to, I'm not looking at any of them. And I'm laughing too because what else are you gonna do? Yeah. I look at Glinda and I say, it's Bach and I can't do this anymore. And then I have to run the entire length of the stage <laughs> with ensemble members in the train station on the thing, a single person running the length of the Gershwin Theater stage off to stage left into what I was assuming was going to be an unemployment letter. I mean, obviously they were not thrilled, but they were like, it's show business, what are you gonna do? I had been a pretty letter perfect uh, Bach up until that moment. <laughs> so they didn't think it was me being lazy or sabotaging the show. Um, it was, mortifying and it makes for a really good story now but for weeks after i i believe i had bought everybody mrs field's cookie cake that just said i'm sorry on it um but that i'll never forget that moment i've never had a moment like that since and i, I imagine it's because that one was so big yeah. um so thanks alan for letting me relive that uh, horrifying stage mishap uh, thank you for that question. Whew, I love 